Hello and welcome back to our second video in our series on PDF GT. PDF GT is our PDF management software used for combining, creating, separating, and OCRing PDFs and images. So what we're going to be looking at today is the OCR portion of PDF GT. So as you notice right now, we don't have a PDF or image loaded. However, the OCR box is still available and we can open that up and you can see that we have a new window that appears right here. It's kind of red, a little bit translucent. You can kind of see through it. And what this is used for is in case you have a picture, say on a uh, separate tab or a document or something like that, and you want to OCR that. For instance, let's say that you have a protected web page. Our website, for instance, is not protected, as in you can select whatever you want. But let's say that you went to a web page that you couldn't select something on it. Well, if you wanted the text from that, you could very easily just use this OCR box, go over it, take a picture, and we have that document image right here for us. So at this point, we can go to test text to OCR and can get the completed document and all the words associated with it. So that is the first option, which I will be getting into the rest of these options right here in a moment. But OCR is basically that. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. That means that an OCR program will look at an image try to find the letters inside of that image and comprise it into a text format so you can actually edit it. You can edit it, copy it, change it, do whatever you want to it. So that is the OCR box. Now the OCR box is used for more than just websites or images that you may have on your computer or you find online. The OCR box can also be used for newspaper articles and magazines and things like that. So if I go ahead and I go to open or import, I can select, let's say this right here. This is one of uh, several pages of a newspaper. I'm gonna go ahead and open those up. And as you can see, this is a newspaper from, I think this is 1996. Yes, it is. So a newspaper from almost 30 years ago. Okay, and from here, let's just select an article at random. I'm going to pick this article here. And with the OCR box, you can actually just line up whatever you want inside of that red box and click take picture. And whenever you click that, it's going to take a picture right here in our PDF GT OCR window and you now have your picture. PDF GT also has the availability to adjust images settings. For instance, you can adjust the sharpness of the image if it'll help the OCR program. Let's say that you run the program at the default settings and it doesn't pick everything up that you want. You can adjust these settings to make it easier for the program to read. Contrast, brightness, sharpness of the image, and whenever you get it to around the area that you would like, you can go ahead and hit text to OCR. Doing that, we'll go ahead, gather the data for you and put it into this text document here. So as you can see, we have that available for us. Now with most OCR programs, what they do is they read line by line. And what I mean by that if you notice where it says Stephanie H. Duncan, we as humans know that we need to skip down to the next line that says graduated. Well, most OCR programs don't do this. Most OCR programs just read straight across. So it goes Stephanie H. Duncan Education Honor Society. You may notice that PDFGT does not do that. PDFGT actually just continues the column down like it's supposed to. This is something that we really tried to focus on whenever we created PDFGT. We were mainly focused on being able to OCR columns and text in newspaper and magazines and things like that. 
And we did that because we knew that those were the most difficult things to OCR. We also created different tools to help the process. For instance, if you want to double line this, all you have to do is click double line. And as you can see, the text is now double lined. If you would like to double space the text, which means that every period has an extra space in it, you can do that as well, as you can see. And if you would like to use our line correction, this is something that is unique to PDFGT. PDFGT will actually take this number of characters right here, and if it falls underneath this line of characters, then it knows that it is not a continuation off of the next sentence, and it needs to start a new line after that. So for instance, if I bump this down to 15, you can see that it has picked up all of this as being one long paragraph, which it actually kind of is because you can see the indention right here and there's not really an indention there. So it picked it up as this being the end of the paragraph and that's actually correct. So yes, the line correction is something that is unique to PDFGT and is very helpful whenever it comes to newspapers and magazines. Well, let's look at the spell checker right now. You can see that there are a couple words in here that got mistranslated, for instance, uh, wife right here, if you notice it's in the second part, that kind of got mistranslated because the E is a little blotted over. If you go with the spell checker, the spell checker will cycle through all known names first, and if the word comes up as not being a name, then it will send it through a spell checker and we'll see if it's spelt incorrectly. It will then replace it with the most likely candidate for the correct spelling of the word. For instance, wife just got translated back to wife. So now let's see. this is it would not be always this document one hundred percent accurate. So on our second page, you can as see you we can have see, a table. Morehead got if you'd like to OCR head, this that's table, you can either click OCR the so entire you still page, want to which go back through, take double a check it, and make sure page that at things are still being PI regularly. But it does and put help. it over into the what OCR about the program table? to OCR? For instance, this right that here is used for OCR that entire page by going to OCR and for that we are going to need to load up and as a you can see we have the whole page available table. so you can so I'm text go ahead, OCR clear out just all like normal this, and I'm going and to gather go your data that way as a well new but file. we are going to be focusing Let's on go down the table. to a document that has a table on it so going over to page 2 you'll notice that there's a table if i go ahead and i go to OCR page you'll notice that it did OCR it did bring over all the pages into our OCR window if I go to OCR the text, it's not going to pick up the table. Or if it does pick up the table, it's only going to be slightly picking up the table. So as you can see right here, it did not pick up the table. It actually stopped after the table. I got some of it right down here, and here's the bottom part of it. The table is not in the correct format. It did get all of the data in it, but it's just not in the right format. So let's go ahead and try to OCR the table instead. What table OCR does, it looks for a table inside of the image, it sections off the intersection points in between each cell, and then it OCRs the individual cells and tabs them over accordingly to make it match up with the document. So as that runs, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new Excel document, which I have right here. And whenever that gets done, as it just did, we're going to copy this text right here, and we are going to paste it into our Excel document so we can see the formatting. So if we paste that in like that, you can see that it did pick up the formatting. It picked up all the text in each one of the headers as well, and the numbers. The document has been translated over for us in the appropriate structure. So yes, you can convert over data tables and spreadsheets using PDF GT. If you'd like to see exactly where the data points were taken from or the corners of the cells, you can actually go to view data range right here, which will bring up a picture of the known data points that is found. So if you zoom in, those little red dots on the document, those are the corners that the program was able to find. Using those, it was able to find all of the cells inside the document and make this document for you. 
Now let me show you how to OCR an entire document. So let's say that you have a document that is multiple pages. So I'm going to go ahead to open and we have this document here which we looked at in a previous video. We have 29 pages in it. So in that video I showed you how you could delete pages like for instance like this. You can remove the pages you don't need. But let's say you want to OCR this entire document. If you want to do that, the easiest way is to go to OCR All. It's going to come up with this window right here where you can select exactly your presets that you want. So if you want to have double line, if you want to have double space or line correction or spell checker enabled, you can do that. You can also set your presets to how long you want the lines to be and all that. Once you are satisfied with your settings, you hit Run. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring up the window, which I currently have it on the other screen. Let me show you that. So as you can see, it's going through every one of the pages. Right now we're at page 12 out of 26. It is OCRing these pages for us, as you can see, populating that text box. And it's going to be continuing this process until it finishes all the pages, upon which it's going to open up a text document with everything compiled for you. So as soon as that gets finished, I will be right back and I will show you the finished product. Okay, so our program finished running and as you can see right here, we have an OCR document of the entire legal document that we put into it. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and copy this directly over into a Word document and we can see how many words it is and what it looks like. Yeah, so 11,000 words, 32 pages of text total. So yeah, it condensed a 26-page uh, document into a 31-page document. Not really condensing it, but you know, it worked and we have all of our text. There's just a I think non-quota is actually a word that they have inside of the program. Let's see it. So that would be on the second page of it. Yeah, non-quota. Non-quota right there. Okay. So yeah, that is the OCR features inside of PDFGT. As of now, that is all the features that we have available. This is version 1. So be looking forward for updates to this product as well. This product does have a free trial available for it. You can go visit our website to obtain a trial for yourself. It is limited to so many different as so many pages and so many words with OCR, but it should be plenty for most people who are going through and pulling articles and uh, different legal documents and things like that. If you would like to leave a comment suggesting a feature, please do so. We always love to hear from our customers. Thank you all very much, and until next time, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of great tech videos and releases. Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.